Guys, I think I did it. I think that I may have beaten the design of my last dragon. Right, here we go. Are you ready to do this? This is the dragon of death. That's a really weird noise for a dragon to make. So, you guys want to be a flippin' giant dragon who could be like a stone dragon or a dragon of death or something like that. He is so cool. If one of your friends dressed up as the ice dragon I created and you dressed up as this dragon, you would make a pretty cool flippin' duo. Just imagine it. You could literally run around and have loads of different style of dragons. I might even make a fire one. And you guys can literally run around and just literally take over a Bloxy in high school as flippin' dragons. Now, guys, this tutorial might be a little bit tricky so if you guys think you're big enough think you're brave enough and think that oh i need an ice cream right now <sighs> oh yeah what was i saying oh that's right if you're cool enough and you have hit the subscribe button already then i'm gonna show you how to become this flipping amazing dragon so yeah let's do this so guys, this is the finished result that we are going for today. It is actually so insane. I really flippin' like it. You could also change the animation, guys, to make it a little bit more, like, intimidating, a bit bigger, a bit cooler. Maybe something like Werewolf really makes this guy stand out. But yeah, this is the finished result, as I say. You could also add, like, a glow by adding another egg to this guy. But guys, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Everybody just calm down and put a duck on your head. So guys, we are ready to begin this tutorial. And the first thing we're going to do is click the reset avatar button at the bottom of the screen and then press where. This will turn you back into your normal avatar. This is mine. He's very handsome. He's very cool. He gets all of the girlfriends. Hey, mom. Once you guys have become your incredibly handsome avatars, you are ready to begin this transformation. But it's about to turn nighttime, so uh, I need to reset the day. Here we go. One, two, three. Ta-da! And, uh, yeah, that's my magic trick of the day. Guys, once you are your original self, you're ready to begin the tutorial. And as per usual, guys, the first step that we're going to do is change what we're wearing. Or at least remove it anyway, so you guys might have, like, 300 items equipped like that. If that is the case, just come over to tuning and simply click all of the boxes to make you a bald avatar. Okay, that was really weird. That was really weird. For some reason, it just re-equipped everything I was wearing. But don't worry, I have removed it again. And once you have done that, you're ready for the next step. Which is really simple, guys. Come over to the body selection. Come to the right arm and just search woman for me. Just like that. Equip the right arm, the left arm, and also the torso. But for the right leg and the left leg, guys, we're going for something a little different. So, guys, for the legs, come over to the right leg and just search Roblox. And you will see loads of different legs. You're going to want to equip the Robloxian right leg. Or you're going to want to equip the Robloxian girl right leg. Which is this one right here, guys. Roblox girl right leg. You can alternatively just search girl it's the only available option i should have probably told you guys that one before but yeah once you look like this you're ready for the next step so guys the next step is pretty much optionally how you want to do it you need to come to the color selection and make yourself gray i'm just gonna click this one to keep things nice and simple for you guys but as long as you are uh, copy exactly what i did then i mean you can't go wrong right next guys come to the scaling selection click advanced we're going to want to make the width a lot wider make the height taller make the head scale full sized but then we want to come over to the height, make the upper body height slightly shorter, minimize that, and then we want to make the uh, width of the lower body as slightly wider than the upper body, something like that. And just remember, we may have to come back and change things, so I wouldn't go too crazy. Then come over to the head selection, guys, and just remove the head by clicking the big empty box at the bottom. Alternatively, you can search headless, and it gives you the option to remove your head. Boom. Yeah. So right now, you should be looking exactly the same as me, but maybe with some different clothes on. But as long as your body is, like, pretty much exactly the same, you're ready for the next step, which is to start adding things. So the first thing we need to equip is the body because everything else is going to be based off of the body. So come over to the wearing selection, come to hats, and once you're under hats, guys, you're going to want to search for something called the self-replacing egg of grey goo, or just search grey goo. Kind of like that. It gives you this egg. Make it full size, guys. Bring the rotation and position of it down. Simply like this. Uh, maybe up a little bit. And now you need to play about with the settings so that it looks like how you want it to look. Roughly like that. Guys, I forgot to add a quick step. Come back to animations. Just change your animation to something like werewolf so that he leans down. Come back over to the wearing and tuning selection of what you have. And simply just open up the rotation so that the egg is on a slight angle like that. Next, guys, remember how I said we may need to change some settings? 
we're going to come to the body selection click scaling click advanced and make the uh, height a bit shorter like that so that the body sits inside the legs and make the width a little bit less wide something like that now guys as long as you're looking exactly how i am then you're doing a good job next we want to remove those uh, horrible pants that are sticking out so to do that we're going to come to the wearing selection come to pants click custom pants and then uh, obviously input the following code guys for the video if you need to but this is the code for invisible pants and then press wear and it will remove pants you're currently wearing giving you some fantastic looking legs next guys we want to equip the massive head so we're going to come to the hat selection and just search smog it's the only available option simply make it a bit smaller bring the position of it up and to the front uh maybe actually make it a bit bigger and just sort of play about the settings uh, i'm gonna have mine look something like that maybe up a bit yeah that looks kind of good you want it to look basically like that he's gonna be a big dragon all right he needs to be a big dragon then guys if you want you can bring the rotation of the head down a bit if you look it makes him look angrier a bit more normal if he's looking up it looks weird but if you bring it down a bit it kind of just looks good especially if you're going to be looking down on other people then you kind of need him to look down next guys you're going to want to search for something called a saw bot it's underneath the hat just search saw but it's literally this thing right here. Open up the tuning, make it full size. Open up the rotation, spin it around. Then uh, you want to bring it this way and then bring the position of it down. Guys, if I'm going too fast, I'm so sorry. But it's so difficult to go slow when I know like what I'm doing. So once you've done that, guys, make this a little bit smaller so the spikes are just coming through the back and you're doing a good job. Now we need to give our dragon some wings. So guys, from this point onwards, everything is pretty much up to you guys how you want to do it. But I'm going to tell you the way I do it in case you guys want to copy me exactly. But yeah, there's so many wings you could equip. You could equip these ones, which are the deluxe bat wings, which are actually what we're going to equip. Or you could maybe equip, you know, some like bone wings or something like that. Like it's up to you, some like feather wings. But yeah, we're going with these ones, the deluxe bat wings. Guys, once you have the deluxe bat wings, come to tuning, make them full size and bring the position of them up and the rotation of them down just like uh this maybe bring them back a little bit just so they sit behind the ears but yeah they should look like that on your back right now just pause the video if you need to to see what i just did it's real simple guys and uh yeah once you've done that you're ready for the next step so what i like to do is give him some chest hair because i feel like he needs something on his chest it looks too eggy so i'm going to come to the hair selection and i'm just going to search for something called shiro's hair or shiro's hair it's this one right here come to tuning just bring it to the front so we can actually see what we're doing and uh, bring it down and then we know now we need to rotate it down just like this uh maybe if we can rotate it all the way around can we do that i don't think so but as long as it looks like that just bring it back a bit and bring it up and we just need to bring it forward a bit but something like that looks pretty good to me i like what i'm doing with this i mean it is kind of different it's a big old dragon i know but yeah just some chest hair like that and maybe just bring it in a little bit more uh maybe the rotation of it down a bit you know something like that just a little detail next guys i want to do the exact same thing on the back because i feel like he's missing that extra detail so i'm going to come to the hair selection and up here, I'm going to search for a hairstyle called the Midnight Flash Hair or just search Flash Hair or just search Flash Anime Hair or just search Flash. It's literally only two available options. Click tuning, make it full size. Oh, not that one. I think I made that too big. I did. This one down here, make it full size, guys. And simply open up the rotation, rotate it down like that. And then just simply bring the position of it to the front. And uh, yeah, it should look something like that, guys, if you want to bring it up a little bit. Uh, but I'm going to leave mine just like that. Next, guys, what we want to do is add a tail. So, we so we're going to come to the back selection or the waist selection, sorry. Come down and equip this one right here, which is called the Stego Box Tail, guys. You can pretty much leave it as it is, though I do recommend bringing the position and rotation of it up simply like uh, this. So, guys, pause the video if you need to. Just bring the position up and the rotation down, and it should look something like that. You can also make the tail as big as you want. I mean, I'm going to make it quite big, actually, just because I think it looks really cool. Now, you may be thinking it's kind of weird seeing a dragon with, like, a brown tail and, like, a gray body. So, we need to integrate create that brown somewhere else so to do that guys we're gonna come to the back and just search for shell simply like that double l equip this make it full size and we're gonna want to stick that right up on his back so bring the position of it right the way up bring the rotation of it uh kind of like uh up a little bit no down that's it down and then bring it down a bit so it sits on the back but it should look something like that guys maybe bring it up a little bit more and maybe to the back a little bit more maybe down a little bit you just need to play about with the settings but as long as it looks something like that it blends that tail in and it looks good and guys that is it 
That is how you become the dragon of death. But yes, guys, that is going to be it from me today. If you guys did enjoy this video, then hit the subscribe button. What are you waiting for? Alternatively, leave a comment or suggestion in the comment section down below. Guys, remember to like the video if you liked the video. And uh, I hope to see all of your flipping dragons inside of Robloxy in high school. Bye! Yep. I think I'm gonna have to make a fire dragon now. Like, that is just so cool.